right, here we go. We have two geo units. We got a package. What's that? What's the tonnage on that package unit there? Water furnace, of course. Envision. Three ton package. And what size is our split system? Split is a 38 to so three ton. So three ton split and a three ton package. This is the unit that is suspect that someone said has a grounded compressor. Compressor in it. We're going to take it open here and take a look at it. They've got it turned off. They've got it shut down. Open it up. There's the uh, comfort alert. It's flashing five flashes, which according to comfort alert is an open circuit. So we'll dig into this thing. And once we have something else to share, we shall share it. Got our three ton split system open here. We're getting ready to check the compressor to ground. I use the uh, UEI Phoenix DL389 True RMS meter, so it will do uh, mega ohms to check check uh, for grounded windings without the uh, little mega. Grounded out here to a piece of copper. It's grounded to the unit, so we'll check the windings now just to verify before we start working on it. We have pulled the wires off. Get that leg and that 26 ohms to ground yep. I'll definitely say check the other one now 27 ohms hmm. let's have a ground all right there. there's our package god bless water furnace and taking their stuff all the way apart yeah make it easy on us yep so got to go out get a reclaim machine we're gonna get that all fired up everything running um, get the refrigerant out of this thing We've got, thank you, Stephen Raritan, a new regulator to put into use today. The old Western Enterprises VN500. It's going to take its uh, maiden voyage here today with us. Picked it up at our local Goodman distributor here. And uh, they keep them in stock. Trying to spread the word. Got bro We've gone from, uh, we're making the switch from uh, old school here. To, uh, we're going to the uh, new uh, VN500. Hold on. All right. Let's, fast on. Let's see this puppy. You got an off, a braze, a purge, and a test. Put it off. That's simple. No tools there needed. There you go. All right, open the tank. Let's see what the tank's got in it. Hopefully we didn't bring it into the tank. I don't think it ain't very much above empty. Good thing we have another one in the truck, huh? 700. All right, done vacuuming. I mean, done vacuuming, done reclaiming. <laughs> it's down to 15 inches of mercury. Have purged out our machine here. Emptied out. Out of that geothermal, you know, what was the rating plate? 56 ounces? Yeah, which is 3 pounds, 8 ounces. We've pulled 9 pounds, 6 ounces out of that unit so far. So, All right, here's the new compressor box. Straight from Water Furnace International. And we have new scroll compressor. Oh, and what's that in the corner? Look at that, baby. Oh, you even packed in a new filter dryer. We brought one ourselves, but they packed one in there anyway. We'll use theirs. Compressor totes in the van. Oh man, look at this. Are you gonna make a mess? Yep. Man heat on that. Over on the positive side of things. Get her up there a couple. What I want to do is get her up a couple pounds. We're going to take the service caps off and we're going to shut the line set off. Okay, that way when we flow nitrogen for soldering, we're not flowing nitrogen upstairs. all the way upstairs. We're just simply flowing through the unit itself. Gotcha. So we'll lock off the line set. And we'll just leave a little bit of nitrogen charge in the line set so it's not sitting there under vacuum. And we'll flow nitrogen just through the unit itself. Yeah. Later lines. 
Because we're just gonna, if there's enough copper, should just bend over and hook right up to the new one. Put an extra joint in this one. Yeah. So we're going to turn digi cool on. First thing we're going to do is open this line and we're going to go to purge. Let it purge through. Blow it out. See if you can get it. We'll let it purge for Calmesis just to go ahead and flush the air that's in there out. Because when we go to braze, it's going to be even less air, less nitrogen pushing through. So this will push the air that's in there out, replace it with nitrogen, then we'll keep a positive pressure on it. And we are now in the braze position. We have purged out all the air, replaced it with nitrogen. We've now gone to braze, and we're going to go to... It is a 40 microfarad 370 volt capacitor. This is what was in the machine from the original compressor. 40 microfarad 370 volts. But as you can see, you can see what I'm getting. 8 microfarads in the capacitor. The turbo 200 mounted in the upright position. Strapped in. This does not go anywhere. The required microfarads written down on the wall, so when they come to the maintenance, they can hit it from the top without removing it, just to make sure it's going still good. Uh, pressure put on it, our final amp draw, 6.6 .6 volts. 